Do you ever feel like taking out your aggression on anyone by beating them with a stick? Lacrosse lets you do just that. I spent some time with Utah State's men's lacrosse team to help explain the sport to you. Lacrosse is a fast-paced physical game that combines skills from many other sports. For me, transitioning over from playing basketball and coaching basketball to playing lacrosse and coaching lacrosse, there's a lot of similar movements and rotations there which made the transition that much easier for me. The physicality from football, especially with that body on body, the running of soccer, you get a good kind of mix of everything all in this one game. Players have an 80 second shot clock to try to shoot the ball past the other team's goalie, much like in basketball. So they try to move the ball around to create some confusion in the defense before taking a clear shot. The goalie's job is to stop that shot and direct the defense. If it's straight up the middle, they've got a lot of cage to look at, so we kind of try and want to push them to the outside. Once they get to that outside, it brings the angle down. I know that they do the same thing in hockey. Players love their goalie, but often say, Those guys are bad crazy. Uh, just because the ball's coming in at you really fast, you get hit by it. We don't wear a whole lot of pads. So why don't goalies and lacrosse players in general wear many pads? For quickness, you know, you just got to be quick in the cage and then your body gets used to it after a while. Nobody wants those big bulky pads because they get in the way. College of the Cross still requires that you wear a helmet, chest protector, elbow pads, and gloves because... If you're the guy with the ball, the defenders can either hit you with their sticks or they can just full on body check you. The coaches decide who's on the field based on which team has possession and who matches up best in that situation. We look for who's leaving their heart out there. One more! Hey, one more! Skill can only go so far. When you have heart and you have effort, that just takes it to that next level. Other than after timeouts, you restart the play with a face-off at the X, or center of the field. This is usually done by face-off specialists. There's a million different ways that the face-off can go. It's about reading your opponent and being able to react to that. So it's a huge mind game. Like most sports, possession is the most important thing because if you have the ball, you can score and the other guys can't. So taking face-offs is an important role. That's my contribution and as long as I can win that, that's, that's good enough for me. The next home game is Friday the 28th when USU takes on the Wyoming Cowboys.